Hey everybody! Hello darlings, welcome in. We're doing a Twin Flame Equinox, Fall Equinox reading today for the collective. Let's see here, just want to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. <laughs> you know. So, um, I have been doing a lot of work uh, this week with uh, the North Node. With We had a North Node class, the Tarot class, had their live for September. Um, so <clears throat> whenever I do those classes where we're kind of, it's not that we're getting outside of the world of tarot or anything. It's just that it's more of a learning environment. Um, Y'all know I'm going to start a second channel, which is going to have more videos on it that will be, you know, instructional and answering questions that you guys have. So if you have questions about the Twin Flame journey, put them down here because I'm going to start making some videos. I also want to make some videos about astrology and twin flame, which I have found to be fascinating. So that's coming too. Uh, the second channel is really going to be a departure. We're going to stick with tarot on this channel, and then I'm going to expand into astrology, numerology, and other things on the other channel. So that um, these are just these are just ways and videos that are answering questions. Really, what are your top questions? And I want to know what you have questions about right now, okay? And I will be making videos about that. So anyway, if you're not in the part of the Empress Club, that is our Twin Flame discussion group. You're welcome to join that. I'm going to use the same little reading I've been doing for the North Node class, which is about what your soul wants you to know right now. I'm using the Soul Coaching Denise Lynn cards, which are fantastic. Um, I'm also going to be using a tarot. I'm also going to do a tarot reading and then I'm going to use, um, I love this deck, uh, Carolyn Mace's archetype cards as like a medicine card, like what needs to be added or what could be pulled out and you in your own energy know that if you're the light aspect or the dark aspect, you know, which do you need to add more of? Because sometimes you do need to add, sometimes that it's not, it's not a dark aspect, shadow. Okay, we're talking about shadow work here. This is the prostitute. <laughs> and the shadow attribute places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. The positive attribute, the light attribute, is accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. Okay, so we're going to use one of those in this reading uh, at the end here. This is, you know, there's no extended, there's no nothing like that for these kinds of videos. That's what we're doing moving forward. Okay, so um, I was listening to Abraham Hicks this morning, something that's very, very central in my expansion, in my learning. And I fell back asleep and I had a little, I had a little dream about um, mindset, about, it was, so I used, to, I went to film school, so I always have, I have camera angles in my dreams and I see shot, reverse shot, I see, right, right. I don't know. It's just the way my brain got trained a long time ago. And um, it brought out the phrase, mindset is everything. And then always know that things are working out in your favor. Things are always working out in my favor. Put that on a sticky note. Put it on your desk. Put it in, on your mirror, whatever. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out. Right. And that brings you to gratitude. That brings you into gratitude so much with even when things um, aren't appearing to be the way you want them to be. If you're in that mindset, there is a gratitude of, wow, I dodged a bullet with that one. Or, man, I could have hung on to that for years and years and years. OK, so that's why I talk about uh, Twin Flame as an energy, not a person. Uh, a lot of this journey is about releasing attachment to a single person. And I see people who get stuck in a situation because, well, it's my twin flame and I can't really move off of that because that there will never be another. And that is simply not true because twin flame is an energy, not a person. So don't let yourself get stuck. I mean, getting stuck, like, okay, mindset of everything is always working out for me. What was the purpose of me being in this for a couple of years. What was the purpose of me having this like dark night of the soul? What was the purpose of all that? Okay, the purpose of that was to 
expand soul growth? Did this per person expand your soul growth? Did this person move you into new levels of learning? Did this person send you down a road of wanting to know what this was? Yes. Thank you. Everything is always working out for me because this is really a spiritual journey. It is not a destination. Okay. That's one of the things that I think um, 20th century, especially 20th century America really got wrong is that we made marriage a destination. We made uh, making vice president a destination. We made those things a destination. And really, um, that's not what experiences are about, you know, we, because that's what we did in the 20th century. We moved from a incredibly um, frightening world into something that was so solid that it got stagnant. That's my view of it anyway. Take it or leave it. Okay. So I'm going to pull a couple of these. This is what your soul wants you to know right now. What does your soul want you to know right now? This is in terms of um, healing energy too, I feel. Simplicity. Purging. Marie Kondo, baby. I know. I've got a dumpster right out there. All the stuff that I'm giving away clothes, giving away stuff, moving into this new house is great because you go through all of your stuff. This is about stuff, but it's also about people. It's also about, are there people in your life that are, who are um, creating drama? Are there people in your life who are not interested in being in alignment in a higher vibration? Out they go. Out they go. Because if you're moving up in your vibration, they can't hang. So thank them for being in your life, for the time they were in your life. Thank you for the learning. Thank you for seeing that everything is always working out for me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Felicia. Action. Ooh, Sagittarius card. I step into my glorious future with determination and power. You got you to gotta get rid of stuff and people and relationships that are stagnant, that are, you know, sometimes things just end, okay? You've learned the lesson, you know, when you do your meditation, have I learned what I need to learn? Maybe part of learning from this person is about letting go, is about understanding that maybe it doesn't, you don't need to have a hundred friends. Maybe you need to have four really good ones. Maybe you need to have four you know, maybe that's what the Empress Club is. It's like a group of people who are moving into high vibration, okay? And there's a tribe there, all right? There is definitely a tribe there. And not everybody in that group is a member of everybody else's tribe in that group, but they have a point of nexus. They have a point of interest. And whenever I see anything negative in there, in terms of like tearing down other people's journeys, other people's um, vibrations, other people, because this is a very nascent kind of thing. It's a very fragile kind of thing. You know, allow other people their journey, allow other people to be, you know, in their place. When I was little, um, when I was young, not when I was little, still pretty little, but... <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, uh, I was the only little person, younger person. Everybody, my brother was eight. By the time I was seven, my brother was 18. So everybody's big people, right? And I'm still saying stupid stuff. I'm still saying little kid stuff. I'm still like, wow, I didn't know that. Sienna still exists. You know, like all this stuff. And they all were just like rolling their eyes because like they're all big people and you learn when people roll their eyes at you or whatever, you learn to skip over parts of your development in order to not be, have the eye rolly thing at you, right? In order to be, oh, I'm just cool. I'm cool. I know what I'm doing. I'm just so, I'm such a mature eight year old, you know, like let people have their childhood, let people have their journey. Joy. That childhood joy, that kind of expression, joy and ec ecstasy flow through me wildly and freely. That wild, free little child in you is really the simplicity and the joy surrounding this action card. I love it because this is, this is a message to 
whoever this resonates with, this is a message of getting rid of the extraneous crap, getting rid of the stuff, getting rid of the people or relationships that are holding you back, getting rid of the vibrations in your life that are holding you. Just get rid of the vibrations because the stuff and the people will fall away naturally. All right. You don't have to really like take action on that. You take action on your own stuff. Shooting for the stars, right? You take action on your own stuff. Don't worry so much about that. Just be in your high vibration. Those people and stuff that will fall away. Okay, that will fall away. So this is for you. I'm going to do um, something I don't normally do, which is a um, modified Celtic cross. Hey, 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 there's a card in here that doesn't, that's not supposed to be. There's two cards in here. That's... Yeah, they're supposed to be there. Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Don't fret none. The, the life is here. Ace of Pentacles being offered to you. Don't fret none, okay? Don't fret none. I like that. Thank you for that. Um, I'm going to do a modified Celtic cross, which is something I taught in my tarot class. Hey, there's another one here. <laughs> oh my God, we're moving forward. Yay. <laughs> oh my God, what's going on? All these cards here. Yeah, I just saw Six of Swords too. So I'm going to use a modified Celtic cross, which is a little bit different of a reading than I normally give. Oh my God, there's another one in here. <laughs> All right, we're going to let that one come up in the reading. <laughs> There's another one in here. I can't wait to see what it is. Let's see. Do I see it? Oh, I thought it was in here. I thought there was something in here. Where is it? No, maybe it's not. Maybe I just oh, dreamt that. Did I dream that? Maybe I did. If it comes up, I'm just going to be laughing. There it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what in the world? Is in here. Here it is. Here it is. I see you. I see you. Okay. <laughs> the the new moon coming up. The new moon, September twenty eighth. This is the manifesting, the the planting of the seeds. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. So, <laughs> oh my God, um, we are moving toward new manifestation. And the nine of swords it really is about shifting mindset into things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for you. Just stay there. Remember I used to say be the chick that knows she's going to get everything she wants. Maybe that's not the mindset. The mindset is more, things are always working out for me. Sounds less, I don't know. I don't know. Less, less arrogant. I don't know what that is. But anyway, things are always working out for me. Just stay there. Okay. So let's do this modified Celtic cross for you. See where we go here. This is for the collective messages right now. Five of Wands, other people at you, other people around you, irritating, annoying. You bet that's right. Nine of Cups, Emperor. So I'll, I'll tell you as I'm going here, this is you, Nine of Cups, collective watching. This is the situation, the Emperor. This is the opportunity here, the magician. Here's what the universe is saying to you. Enjoy, enjoy celebration here's how we got here queen of wands being in your power near future seven of cups lots of choices my friend Re recent past given up on this stagnant energy absolutely how people see you <laughs> running on a new path my love near near future this is near future this is immediately right in front of you three of pentacles working being able to work it out you betcha. Ace of Swords. That's the fears and hopes outcome. Seven of Pentacles. There's that Nine of Swords again. This is so turning your back on that worry, turning your back on that Nine of Swords. I feel like a lot of you are in that Nine of Swords place. This, um, the energy of soulmate is coming. Okay. So it does feel to me like, um, cause Emperor is partner okay emperor is the empress's partner uh aries energy of taking action this is the action card here okay you're free to take action on your desires that's very powerful the two of those together very powerful and then <laughs> magician okay even more manifesting power 
that is like high voltage manifesting power mindset everything is always working out for me everything is always working out for me how did we get here by standing in your power queen of wands is probably the closest thing you know queen of wands king of wands to that emperor because they're all fire energy this is about knowing your passion knowing what you want in life really doing your manifesting work here on this new moon okay planting the seeds that's that's the outcome here seven of pentacles you plant these seeds and out comes the the soulmate on a higher vibration okay i do feel like a partner is coming because that uh that emperor is um partner emperor is husband okay husband wife same sex doesn't matter really let's not get caught up in that um but this is a way of you manifesting you are you are taking some leap of faith around your truth that yes you do want to work things out with a partner you do want to have love in your life this is something you're willing to take a leap of faith on you might have been waiting for the person you believed was the one okay and instead saying no i have a lot of choices if you were waiting for this person who was the one and you were in a third party or you were in a situation that was you know there was a lot of people okay involved in um moving on from that is a, a very healthy thing here because i see the universe saying to you um being in celebration being in joyfulness hanging out with your friends doing fun stuff um if this is a third party situation the universe could also be saying to you plant new seeds plant new seeds okay plant new seeds because we see the three of pentacles here which is more like you me and and god together working it out okay so this is a manifesting reading for sure everything's always working out for me twin flame is an energy not a person so removing yourself from that because i see a lot of singleness here this is likely for those of you who are not in relationship, any kind of relationship, in singleness of your own volition because of the mindset of, I got to wait for this one person. Okay, I got to wait for this one person. So seven of cups here, you actually have a lot of choices. Do you know that? Do you know that? Okay, a lot of choices in high vibration. Being confused about that, needing to clear, cut through that. This is um, guidance to you, needing to cut through that, okay? And knowing, six of cups here, that doing your work brings in the partner that is this vibration, this beautiful energy, okay? It does feel to me, I'm going to get a couple of clarity cards here. Uh, talk to me about this emperor because a balanced, true love. Okay, when you're in your high vibration, when you're in that, I don't need to, if I'm waiting for someone that's longing, longing pushes them off further. Okay, so really uh, taking a leap of faith away from that, moving into this energy of I can manifest. Magician is the one, right? I have power over my own happiness. I have power over my own joy. Okay, I'm taking action to remove the things, to let those fall away, simplicity here, let the, let the relationships fall away that need to fall away. I am taking action on my own behalf to bring in joy in my life. So in, to, in order to bring in joy, you have to be in the vibration of joy. This is not the vibration of joy, okay? That's why that needs to go. This is the vibration of joy <laughs> that you are in this thing this person is like right here okay manifest them in bring them in allow them to come in some of you may be blocking them because there may not be the person you think is your twin some of you are blocking this person seven of cups here can also be the um yep justice tower three of wands queen of pentacles i like that so the nurturing energy here of allowing this to move along, you could have some confusion because you're like, well, this isn't the person I thought it was going to be. I feel like a lot of you are in that situation that you have set your sights on this one person and it can never be anybody else. 
because of the experience you had, but the experience you had moved you into higher vibration. If that person chose not to come along, you are still in higher vibration. You cannot have that person who stayed behind with you. They stayed behind. The new vibration is a twin vibration. You get me? So the person who's vibrating in that higher vibration that you moved up to, why would you want to go back? Don't go back. I know you want to relive that. You can in this newer high vibration, and that will bring you higher. Okay? This is about accelerating that kind of stuff. And once you're being in balance, Libra is the um, energy. Libra is seventh house relationships, things you've manifested. This comes in, it's going to blow your mind because I feel like you're saying to yourself, well, it's not the person I thought it was going to be. Seven of Cups. And you're going to be like, okay, I have more choices? Really? Yes, you do. Being nurturing, being having compassion for yourself. Um, doing your own work around your own anxiety and your own stuff that needs to be worked on that allows this person to come in and you have planted the seeds 100 percent you have planted the seeds okay so around this new moon that we're coming into now around this new moon i want you to plant the seeds this ace of pentacles this two of cups all right this is a libra new moon libra on the libra new moon Woo! On the Libra new moon or very soon after, what you have manifested will show up and it will blow your mind. Okay? So it's very important that you take time to be in this powerful, nurturing energy for yourself and write down what you want in your partner. Let go of the physical wrapping of this person and be in the energy of that person. Okay, be in the energy of that person that you want. Do you, do you want someone who's rejecting you? Do you want someone who's not showing up? Do you want someone who's married to somebody else? Why? Because they're not showing up for you. Okay, they're not showing up for you. And they never will. Because if you're in this energy of longing, even that person, whoops, I just made a total mess. Um, even that person is not going to show up because they are also in a different vibration than that. You got me? Okay. So that's, um, it's important to, to have some celebration on this new moon about this new planting of seeds for this person, sending it to the universe in love and gratitude, two, 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 just saw that on my little clock here. Um, so let's, a medicine card, please. Medicine card. You are now manifesting with the universe here, big time, on a new path. Okay. Saboteur. Oh, yeah. Saboteur. This, see if this resonates with you, light attribute highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. Shadow attribute induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. So... This says to me that you've been sabotaging any relationships that aren't the person you think are your twin because you only want this twin because you have a mindset of this is the right person for me and I'll be damned if I'm going to move out of this twin flame energy or move out of this twin flame um, connection with this one person. You had a soul to soul connection with this person. It is possible, it is eminently possible, it is right in front of you, in fact, that the next person may be even stronger, okay? I feel like a lot of people label a certain person their twin, and I have moved beyond that, that understanding that, yes, you can have additional soul connections with people that are in ever higher increasing vibration instead of getting stuck in this lower vibration because... Guess what? This longing is getting you nowhere. Getting you nowhere fast. Okay? So I feel like this person, what you need to do is be in your clarity about the person who you're looking for. Also being in your clarity, let's not just talk about um, relationships. This is about building. This is about building a life. This is about building something that you are happy and joyful in. We talk a lot about 
um, your work. We talk a lot about the mission that you have. We talk a lot about those things. And that's some of the videos we're going to do for the other channel are going to address the mission, address this stuff. Being on that path, being in mission, increases the likelihood of somebody in higher vibration coming to you. What is the, what is the mission? Look at your North Node. Look at your Ascendant in your um, astrology chart. Your Ascendant, and I haven't really talked about this, but I want to talk about this in other videos. The Ascendant in your astrology chart is the thing that you did not accomplish in your last life that you are here to learn. So look at that. What is that about? Okay, look at the sign and then where is that sign where is that sign's natural home? Okay, so for example, my ascendant is Libra. Libra's natural home is the seventh house. Seventh house of relationships, Venus. It is Venus energy. That's the thing I'm here to accomplish. That's part of my mission as my work is talking about helping people transform into the um, highest and, good and best partnership of their lives to learn how to do relationship well, to learn how to expand instead of contract in relationships, to learn how to have commitment, to learn how to do all those things. That's what Libra rising is all about. Natural home, seventh house, relationships. So check that in your chart. Being your most authentic self, Aries, first house here, being the most authentic self you can be manifesting will bring that vibration to you bring that person and you can i feel like a lot of people do mess this up for themselves i know i have a lot of people mess that up for themselves so let's see here um i'm gonna get a couple of these that's a medicine card so look at how you might be sabotaging your own happiness look at how you might be you know, not dating or not going out or not seeing new people because you're very focused on a singular person and try to expand on that because I do feel like the Ace of Pentacles is right here in front of you, Two of Cups right in front of you. But it does require action. Passion, healing family issues, playfulness, love yourself first. We know that, right? We know. We talk about loving yourself first. Taking the action out of joy out of your joy, taking the action from your joy. It's simple. It's simple. All right, guys. All right, there you go, my darlings. Time to manifest with the new moon in Libra. Libra is all about partnerships. That's where we're going.